Hi everyone, this is Chris at Chris Marino Design, and in this video we will learn the basics of keyframes in Adobe After Effects. These little keyframes can produce fun and powerful results and are the foundation of Adobe After Effects. Alright, let's get to it. With Adobe After Effects open, I'm going to click on New Composition, choose the HD TV 1080 24 option from the preset dropdown, change the duration to 4 seconds, leave the composition name default, and click OK. Next, I want to add a color background by going to Layer, New, Solid. From here, I'll change the layer name. Click Make Comp Size, just in case the default is a different size, and pick the same blue color as my personal brand as I will be recreating my YouTube intro clip for this project. Now that the new layer has been added, I want to click on the empty box under the lock icon to lock in the layer since I will be working with a graphic on top. Next, I will right click in the project area to import my logo file. I'll choose my illustrator file and import as footage. Since my file only has one layer, I'll select choose layer, layer one, and document size from the dropdown. I will now drag the imported file and place it directly above my locked color layer. From here, I'll click on the right arrow icon to drop down the individual layers transform options. And with the playhead at the start of my project, I'm going to click the stopwatch icon next to the word scale to add my first scale keyframe. Next, I will drag the playhead to the two second mark and click the circle button to the left to add an additional keyframe, not the stopwatch icon again. Now I can click on the left arrow to move back to the first keyframe and change the scale of the first keyframe to 0%. I can press spacebar to play or preview my project and see that my logo now scales from 0 to 100% between the two keyframes. Now I'll move the playhead back to the start of the project and add some keyframes to the rotation row by clicking on the stopwatch icon next to the word rotation to add the first keyframe. Then I'll click on the right arrow in the scale row to move to the same position as the scale's second keyframe, and click the circle button back in the rotation row to add a second rotation keyframe. I'll change the second rotation keyframe to 360 so I will have a nice full rotation during playback. I'll repeat these same steps in the position row. With the second position keyframe added, I want my logo to stay in that final position, but I'll adjust the position of the first keyframe to have my logo fly in from the left. Now I can preview these new additions to the position. And finally, I'll repeat these same steps with the opacity row, leaving the second opacity keyframe at 100%, but changing the first opacity keyframe to 0%. That looks pretty cool, and now I'm ready to export. I'll go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Once in the queue, the format can be changed, but I'll stick with H.264. I'll use the YouTube 1080p Full HD preset, and I'll keep the output file location the same, and hit the Play button to start the export. Once complete, you now have a final video file to use as needed. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.